Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabby and today we are doing niche perfumes for the springtime. I already did a video for designer fragrances, obviously that very appropriate for the springtime. And with this video, I have a major problem because I was looking at my collection and I realized that I have so many fragrances uh, that are niche and that are just gonna be amazing during spring that I cannot include all of them in just one video. So today we're gonna have just floral perfumes that are from a niche company and are just amazing for the springtime. Uh, next video, probably I'm gonna do fruity because I have lots of fruity fragrances as well that are just stunning for the spring and all of them again are from a niche company. Uh, but yeah, I have in here 25 fragrances and they're all florals, um, either white flowers, rose, lavender, ylang ylang, you name it, but all of them that floral perfumes. If you're not into floral fragrances, this video is not going to be for you. If you are into floral fragrances and you want a new scent for the springtime, just continue watching this video because 100% you're going to find some, something that you're going to like. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and now let's jump in. Like I said, I have 25 fragrances in here, so we need to move fast. And I mean very, very fast. The first one, again, if you want a full review for any of these fragrances, probably I already did one. So if you just type my name here on YouTube, Gabby Loves Perfumes, and then the name of the fragrance, 99.99%, um, you have a chance to find a video where I reviewed, I did a full review for that perfume. In here, I'm just gonna tell you very, very quickly about each of them, but if you want a real review, probably you, it, it's already out there, probably you already have one. So the first one, let's start. Nishane Tenflo, absolutely stunning release from Nishane. This um, has a similar vibe to Yves Saint Laurent Libre, but this time it's not about the lavender. This time it's about white flowers. And then you have a beautiful, beautiful bergamot in the opening, more like bergamot oil. It's a stunning for me. Yves Saint Laurent Libre didn't work at all. It's not a dupe by any means. It's not like, oh, a niche company did something very similar. You can find they have something similar, yes, but I can't, I can't. Me and Lib, I, I cannot with that fragrance. This one, on the other hand, I absolutely love and adore it. Um, again, for a review for any of these perfumes, just check Google my name, not Google, search it here on YouTube, my name, and then the name of the fragrance. Absolutely adore this one. Um, it's like every white flowers, but then getting this like bergamot oil, love it. Nishane Tenfluo. Next. Next, we have two perfumes from Roja. The first one is 51, Essence to Parfum. This is a stunning powdery ylang ylang. Absolutely love it. Um, yeah, it's powdery ylang ylang. I love it. It's amazing. I actually got two compliments the other day when I wore it. It's such a beautiful fragrance. It definitely has other notes, but it's very elegant. It's very... I don't know, it's just a beautiful ylang ylang that works in my opinion for spring and summer as well. So 51, Essence du Parfum. The next one we have Reckless, again Essence du Parfum. This um, has a similar vibe to Love Don't Be Shy from Killian. This one is just, I don't know, a bit more elegant, definitely not as sweet, way more floral, um, airy. It's an airy version a more sophisticated, airy version of Love Don't Be Shy. Love this one. Next we have Kiali Deja Vu White Flower 57. This basically has all of the white flowers. Um, it has obviously tuberose, jasmine, orange blossom. This is like sweet. The main note, in my opinion, is the orange blossom. This is like sweet, a bit sugary? I don't know. It's a sweet, it's definitely a sweet white floral perfume. Um, I do really, really like this one. All the time when I go on holiday, I take, I take a mini bottle with me because it works amazing for the spring and for the summer as well. Next we have Flor Narcotique from Ex Nihilo. 
Flo Narcotique is this super elegant, beautiful peony fragrance. It has some peach as well. It's this like every feminine, it's, it's stunning. I love it so much. It works amazing during the springtime. Next one, if you don't like sweet floral scents, you can try Rehab from Initio. This is this aromatic lavender scent, perfectly unisex. It's gonna work amazing for like spring evenings. Yeah, mostly spring evenings. Mostly like in the evening time because I know during the day I like something sweet. I like something fluffy. This one is not sweet. This one is definitely not sweet. Um, this is like I said, like aromatic lavender. This is what I'm getting and I love it. Rehab initial. Uh, next, now let's talk about Killian. We have Love Don't Be Shy. This is very sweet. So again, probably too sweet for the daytime. Maybe wear this one during the nighttime. It's basically orange blossom and marshmallow. You can definitely smell the marshmallow. It's delicious. It's amazing. I love it. Next one is the newest release. Can't Stop Loving You. Similar to Love Don't Be Shy. This one is just definitely stronger on the orange blossom. You're not getting that marshmallow. It's not as sweet. It's way more floral. And then in the dry down, you start to get some honey as well. It's getting obviously sweeter uh, because... It has honey, but it's just not as gourmand as Love Don't Be Shy. The next one, and last one from Killian, we have Good Girl Gone Bad Extreme. I used to have the original. The original was that almost like green tuberose. I liked it in, in the beginning, and then I started like to absolutely hate it. I've tested the, obviously, not just tested. I have the extreme now. I much more prefer the extreme version. This one is the same tuberose, it's just not as sharp, not as green, and it has something creamy in it. Don't think super milky, super creamy, nothing like that. It's still very similar, but it's just not as sharp, not as green as the original. If you like tuberose, check this one out. If you don't like tuberose, you're not gonna like this one. Um, Good Girl Gone Bad Extreme from Killian. Next we have uh, Ruby and Vanilla Neroli. This is a beautiful... Again, orange blossom with some lavender, something aromatic, and then it has this like amber vanilla base. It's similar to the original Ruby and Vanilla Intense. This one is definitely, it's definitely like brighter. You can definitely smell some floral notes in there. It's not as deep and dark as the original. It's such a beautiful fragrance. Very, very long lasting, especially for spring uh, perfume. Ruby and Vanilla uh, Neroli from EBK. Next we have Memo Paris Granada. Granada is basically this honeyed orange blossom, very, very realistic orange blossom. Orange blossom has a green touch as well. You can smell it in this perfume, but in the same time, it's very, very concentrated orange blossom, almost like, like I said, honeyed orange blossom. And the other one, I'm not sure if I talked about this one from memo Paris. it's madurai just look at the bottle i am I'm obsessed with the bottle this is jasmine and peaches it's airy it's fresh the peach is not very strong you can smell it but it's not very strong this is mainly a jasmine fragrance uh, next we have electimus mercurial cashmere this is basically a creamy sweet tuberose with a very creamy a bit powdery vanilla not sticky sweet it's a soft vanilla it's an elegant vanilla but it, it, the mix is like amazing it's not the most unique fragrance like when you smell it you're not like oh my god i've never smelled in my life anything like that but it's just such a beautiful fragrance it's generally such a beautiful fragrance so i'm really happy to have it in my collection next we have uh, BDK Passessoir. Passessoir is not for everyone, but I'm obsessed with Passessoir. This is white flowers and some pepper. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it so much. Uh, yeah, for me, it's a compliment getter. For me, it's, it's just a stunning fragrance. The white floor, uh, flowers in this one remind me of the ones in Deja Vu. This one is definitely unknown more peppery and it has it has like a twist 
Um, the next one from BDK, Tuberose Imperial. This one is like a sweet, yeah, like a sweet tuberose with maybe other other white flowers. But it's mainly like a sweet sugary tuberose. Love it so much. Like with tuberose, it's a love or a hate for me. This one is definitely a love. Um, what else do we have? Oh, we have Lyside from Richard. Lyside is again white flowers, but they are very that bit musky and creamy in the same time. They feel very elegant. They feel very I don't know elegant, sophisticated, like like wedding type of scent it's very creamy but it has a like muskiness it has a like dustiness as well beautiful beautiful elegant a very romantic scent i would say last side from richard next let's change a little bit of flower okay empyrean from tomavici this one has a similar rose to the lina but it's definitely not doesn't have that powderiness is not doesn't have any incense doesn't have anything like that um it's just the rose it's fresher and then it has a beautiful beautiful raspberry note uh, but i could include this one in the fruity spring fruity fragrances from niche uh, brands but definitely this one is more rosy than fruity so i put it in here it's a beautiful beautiful i know spring version of the lina if you ask me i um i've tried the lina la rose for some reason i was just not impressed with that one uh this one it's i don't know i really 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 like it um empyrean from tomafiji now um i have a billion fragrances from maisa because yes i included them here and there but literally the ones for and i'm gonna have in uh, the fruity video as well the ones that are the best in my opinion from them are the the floor ones and let's start with probably my favorite johara from maisa obviously all of them that from maisa this one for me it's very sweet it smells like a jammy orange blossom you know how you have jammy rose in other fragrances obviously for me this one it's a jammy orange blossom this is what i'm getting i love it so so much orange blossom is definitely my favorite note uh when it comes to white flowers i do like jasmine to like super rose um but orange blossom is 100 my favorite one this for me is like it's a bit ambery as well it's like sweet jammy jammy orange blossom with a little bit of amber love it so much the next one we have magic moment magic moment it's i know it's this floral fragrance but it ha i think it has some honey in it it definitely has something like that. let's have like a cow or something like that this is just such a unique take on a floral perfume it's not overly let's have some cacao or some coffee or something it's just mixed with other gourmand notes that normally you feel like mm, they don't they might not work but they do they do work so well in this fragrance it's such such a beautiful spring fragrance and the other one that i have is princess de gars beautiful tuberose like i don't know bubblegummy tuberose the other white flowers as well but it's this sweet bright almost bubblegummy it's not just bubblegum but it's almost bubblegum it's super rose love it so much honestly the white floor perfumes are just stunning and i have another one like i said in um the fruity video that is just amazing and the last one is from the like newest collection it's a bit more pricey you can find only uh, the 100 ml you can find you can't find the 50 ml this one is janet sunset i think this is how you pronounce it this reminds me of johara it's just way more concentrated and definitely way more ambery yes it's not it's definitely way more ambery it's not as floral and as bright as the other ones it's a beautiful beautiful fragrance i would say i would suggest they have discovery kits if i'm not wrong 
check this one on this one first because it's cheaper you can find the 50 ml if you like it if you like the dna if you want something darker and deeper you can go with this one because it's stunning um so yeah last scent from my side this one is janet sunset now how many do i have left who honestly i'm tired already Almond jane tanger danger have no idea uh this is oh this is so beautiful this is neroli but i'm not necessarily getting neroli it's more like orange blossom for me again with some amber but then i'm getting a lot of mandarin orange is this mix is like candied mandarin orange with orange blossom neroli and some amber it's amazing like amazing i have levant as well that one is way more similar that one is kind of in between this one and flor narcotique from ex nihilo um from almond jane i do have four fragrances so far my favorite so far like my favorite from the whole collection because i tested the whole collection okay is definitely danger danger i don't know how to pronounce the name uh it's just such a unique and beautiful spring scent it's such a beautiful one that orange is just mm, it's not zesty it's not zesty it's more like candied it's it's delicious you have to try it uh danger from Ormond jane what else do we have left um uh, narcotic v narcotic v from Nasomato is this, I don't know, like soft, fluffy, a bit powdery tuberose and jasmine. If you like, maybe my way from um, Armani, you're definitely gonna love this one. It's such a girly fragrance, it's such a rom romantic fragrance. Um, love it so much, honestly. It's such, I don't know such a happy perfume and very elegant and soft and just it's beautiful um what else do we have left oh love tuberose from amouage this is the creamiest tuberose you're gonna find it's literally whipped cream and tuberose tuberose is not green nothing like that it's not necessarily bubblegummy but it's a sweet, sweet tuberose you are gonna love this one if you are a fan of tuberose you're absolutely gonna love this one and you definitely need to try it because is literally whipped cream and tuberose and the last one that we have it's sunset hour from goldfield and banks that's it's such a good one this one see this one is floral and fruity in the same time is this sweet fluffy every with like a sweet base fragrance again i'm not gonna review do like full review for any of these I already did so if you want to know more if i know one of the fragrances sounds like something that you would absolutely love again just type my name just type the name of the fragrance and you're gonna have the full review for that perfume so that was it 25 fragrances stay tuned for the next part where I can, i'm gonna show with you all of the fruity fragrances that i feel like are gonna be amazing for the springtime uh, let me know in the comments down below if you tested any of these fragrances if you like them if you don't and all of that and yeah that was it for today uh thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel activate the notification bell so you're gonna be notified all the time when i upload a new video and i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye